On charts, you will see what looks like upside down V's with a dot. These represent obstacles that are under 1,000 feet AGL. The bold numbers next to each symbol represent the height above sea level. So for example, this obstacle is 1,133 feet MSL. The number in parentheses represents above ground level. So the same obstacle stands 283 feet above the ground. These could be towers, but they may be other obstacles as well. The symbols that look like Eiffel Towers represent obstacles that are 1,000 feet or higher. Here's a group of towers, of which the tallest is 1,649 feet MSL, or 1,049 feet above ground level. If you see rays emanating from an obstacle, it means it has a strobe light. UC means the obstruction is under construction. Sometimes following roads can be helpful, especially interstates. Here we see interstates 70 and 44 that come out of St. Louis. You can also use railroad tracks depicted as black lines with hatch marks going across them. Power transmission lines are also depicted as we can see here. Although smaller streams and rivers can be difficult to pick out, a larger river such as the Missouri and the Mississippi can be helpful as seen here on the map. Larger bodies of water are also great to pick out. Here's Horseshoe Lake, for example. Populated areas of large towns or cities are depicted in yellow, such as St. Louis, Washington, and Millstadt. Smaller towns are identified with empty circles. For example, here are the Missouri towns of Gray Summit, Villa Ridge, and Robertsville. When flying at night, the town or city lights of these populated areas can be referenced. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.